Super Talk Mississippi media production. CorinthNissan.com, a large selection of vehicles, $20,000 or under. Don't miss their 543 deal. That's $5,000 off Murano's, $4,000 off Altima's, or $3,000 off the Nissan Kicks. CorinthNissan.com. Welcome to another edition of Mississippi Magic. This is Joe's Story. You know, every state has a collection of stories to tell. We all know that. But in music and business and arts and entertainment, my state, your state, we have far exceeded the statistical norms per total population in areas of historic social and economic impact. And for that, we should all be very, very proud. For instance, on just this one episode of Mississippi Magic, a story about Joe's legacy and what he leaves behind today. Nothing less than two of the most successful and recognizable brands on planet Earth and in Fortune 500 companies. A Mississippi-born entrepreneur whose life's contributions continue to impact our lives in more ways than one. And another side note here, if it weren't for Joe taking chances and following his dreams, a major holiday may look totally different today. More on that a bit later. Joe's story is too good and too important not to pass on to the next generation. We'll do our part next after this from our friends at Divinity Equipment in Madison and Jackson, Mississippi. Did you know that the subcompact tractor BX series is number one selling in the United States of America for over 10 years? Did you know that Divinity Equipment can now put you in the seat of that tractor for as low as $99 a month? And with 0% APR financing for 60 months. And don't forget, as the weather warms up and you're ready to tackle that one-time job, Divinity Rental. They have you covered from skid steers to forklifts, mini excavators to mowers, backhoes to trenchers. Everything you need as close as DiviniEquipment.com with two locations, Highway 51 North in Madison, Mississippi, and Divinity Drive in Jackson. <music> Now, back to this episode of Mississippi Magic and Joe's Story. The son of immigrants, one of an even dozen siblings, Joe took after his father in his quest to achieve the American dream. I don't think he could have had any idea just how big that dream turned into worldwide, even today. His dad worked at any job he could to feed his family. As the years went by, his father's commitment and his savings led to Joe's dad buying a building in one of Mississippi's bustling cities and then opening a shoe store. Like father, like son, when Joe was old enough, he found space in the same building to wet the sweet tooth of the local folks with a confectionery shop. Seemed the hotter a Mississippi summer got, the more of one particular product Joe sold the most in his retail shop. So much so that Joe's entrepreneurial mind began spinning, thinking how to expand this. He didn't invent the recipe, but what he did invent changed the product, a holiday icon, and the world of marketing forever. More on that in just a moment. Joe's business skills developed in his home state of Mississippi, took the profits from the confectionery business, and invested wisely. With a group of other investors, Joe took a risk and bought a company in a category nowhere near to what being a confectioner was. Like most business stories, it came from need. You see, the eyes and ears of farmers across America were focused on an invader that was threatening the very livelihood and existence of cotton farms and farm families. The boll weevil was decimating the cotton crops, and every agriculture university's research was in emergency mode. The greatest success was recorded by applying calcium arsenate using airplanes and pilots on loan from the Army. The Mississippi guy with the business skills named Joe understood just how that could become a viable business in the private sector. And so the company was founded in the spring of 1925. The investment quickly turned into a fleet of 18 Huff Deland Dusters. Those dusters were servicing cotton farmers in the Mississippi Delta and across the country, making it the largest privately owned crop dusting company in the world. Joe's dreams were flying high. Now, all the while, that popular confectionery product, marketed years before in this Mississippi store, was expanding faster and farther than even the boll weevils. So much so that a bit later in life, Joe's golden touch took him and his wife from that small candy shop in Mississippi to a large mansion with exquisite 
and extensive gardens outside Monroe, Louisiana, where even today it draws over 30,000 visitors a year. Mississippi Kids Achievement, born in a family of 12 and taught by his parents the value of working hard and working smart, leaves behind two of the most iconic brands in the entire world. First, the crop dusting service became tremendously profitable. Some very smart decisions about weathering the downtime in winter by flying their fleet to places like Peru where the cotton blooms were just setting. And from that was born the idea of giving birth to a full-fledged passenger airline company. By this time, Joe and his partner sold the fledging company at a remarkable profit. The new business was incorporated to pay homage to its very beginnings in the Mississippi Delta. And today it remains one of the most recognizable names in the world. Not as Huff Deland Dusters, but as Delta Airlines. And as for that popular recipe that was concocted in Georgia and sold over the counter, whipped up in individual servings when ordered in places like Joe's Confectionery Store. His idea took that airborne as well. As popular as it was, Joe wanted to reach a larger consumer base. How do you do that? Well, it was Joe's idea in his Mississippi shop to put the concoction in a bottle and take it on the road to other stores in Mississippi's rural areas. I understand it sounds conventional now, but this had never been done before. Joe was the very first to do this. The success of the marketing idea was overwhelming, but the amazing business acumen of Joe took it to yet another level. Just like the company did with Delta Airlines, Joe established a totally new marketing technique of independent franchise bottlers that began in several surrounding states and now around the world. And by now you know the confectionery concoction that Joe found a better way to market to the masses is called Coca-Cola, one of the top 10 most recognizable brands in the world. Joe's life achievements have had a major impact on billions of people across the world, not only in what we drink and how we travel, but also how we celebrate a very important holiday. You see, without the marketing success of Coca-Cola, the way you see Santa today, that big jolly man in the red suit with a white beard may not have happened because an artist was commissioned by Coca-Cola to create their own vision of Santa for their Christmas promotion. Old St. Nick would never be the same. Prior, he was depicted anywhere from a tall, gaunt man to a spooky-looking elf, wearing costumes from a bishop's robe to a Norse huntsman's animal skin. So just remember this as a proud Mississippian. The next time you're on a trip during the Christmas season on a Delta Airlines flight and being served an ice-cold Coca-Cola, think about how much your state played a part in that story. And then think about another fellow Mississippian named Joe, Joseph Augustus Bidenhorn from Vicksburg, Mississippi. And if you're in Vicksburg for business or pleasure, come see that original building, now a museum where Coca-Cola was first bottled. It's, shall we say, the real thing. A dream of the very same man who helped give wings to what became Delta Airlines. It's all part of Joe's story. A story filled with more Mississippi magic. Talk Mississippi Media Production.